My name is Steve and welcome back to my shop. This video is going to be an addendum to the one that I just shot on calibrating a precision level. A couple of questions came up. I even got a private message from one of my viewers asking me to elaborate more on how I actually set up my surface initially to calibrate the level. I did the calibration on my granite surface plate and one of the questions was what if I don't have a granite surface plate? Well it's simple you can use any reasonably flat surface. You could use the bed of your if you have a milling machine you could use the milling machine bed um, most small shops have a drill press. You could use the base of your drill press. That's reasonably flat. You could use a piece of uh, plate steel. If you've got a piece of material laying around, you could use that. But just to prove my point, I'm going to do it on my workbench, on my wooden workbench. So I'll bring you in a little closer and show you how I found the level spot that I used to calibrate the precision level. Okay, this is the workbench that I have set up. Actually, this is a top that I made to fit on top of my welding bench. And it is reasonably, it's carpenter level level. I don't know if you can see the bubble in here or not, but the, it's pretty much level from side to side and front to back. It's pretty close, and that's plenty close enough. The theory here is that there is a spot on here that is perfectly level. Now let's take and put my precision level here and I'm going to move the camera so that you can just watch the bubble. Okay, you should be able to see now that the bubble is nowhere near center. And I have the level sitting in line with this the front edge of the bench. Now what I'm going to do, just watch the bubble and I'm going to rotate the level and watch where the bubble goes. Getting closer to the center. Got to wait and let it sit, settle in. So at that position on my table, on my workbench, the bubble is virtually centered. So that, in that orientation, the bench is level. So the question, well, what if I don't have a 2, 3, 4 block like you've got that you use to, to line it up? Well, here is, let me just zoom you out here a little bit. Here's a piece of cast iron that I machined one surface on. It's for a project that I'm working on sometime. One of those unfinished projects. But it's reasonably heavy and it's got a nice straight side. So I'm going to use that now as my reference. So now when I rotate my level around the other way, it's taken. Okay, I've got it zeroed up. I turn my level around again. and it is centered. So that plane along 
that line along the plane of this bench is level. Much easier to do on a smoother surface. This has got some imperfections in it that, that make it a little wobbly. And if I were to move it a quarter of an inch either direction, it's going to change. But I just wanted to show you that you do not need anything special to set it up. Let me just, let's do it on this piece of steel plate and see how we make out with that. I just cut these plates out for another project. It's actually for a customer project. There it goes. Putting that there as a fence. It shows level. I'll turn it around. And it's still level. So I hope this was helpful. That it clarifies a little bit the way that I got to a perfectly level position on my granite surface plate, but I hope that I also showed you that you don't need to have a granite surface plate in order to calibrate your precision level. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.